Shane, give us overall thoughts on the Lions' performance this evening, their last one before the first test. Yeah, unfortunately, they looked like a team for long periods that uh, hadn't played a lot of rugby together. It looked more like the first or second game um, of a series, uh, not the final one before the start of the test series. So that's, con so that's concerning. And I think the other concerning element of this is um, the combinations, whether it be front row, back row, um, half-back, centres, that may start uh, next weekend. I'm not sure how much game time they've had together. And uh, you know, we don't know who those combinations are going to be, but whoever it is, they haven't had a lot of time together. And, and that's concerning. We saw that in a lot of the play there today, um, a little bit disjointed. Um, it wasn't particularly accurate at, at rook time. And though the Lions did very well in the second half, and the subs in particular had a big impact, that was against a fatigued team. Mm. And we know the way the Springboks play probably with a 6-2 bench, a complete change of the pack for the second half. They're not going to be fatigued like that, and the chances aren't going to come easy. I think, Alan, you thought it was average enough as well, to be honest. Yeah, I did. Um, I thought the Stormers were poor. Um, they tried to play a bit with the ball and keep it alive, but they lacked any sort of power. And um, It's hard to read into this game, Joe. I think, you know, it was very... The lines were very... Forward, it was very forward-dominated. Um, you know, the Reese Samet try was the only try from a back and issues again around attack and as Shane said, and he makes a very relevant point here, just combinations. None of us are really sure mm -hmm. who will and who, well, we, some of us, most of us will know who we think we should, uh, we should start, but I think there's a lot of uncertainty right across the board there. Yeah. And Shane, how likely would it be that these combinations are happening in training day in, day out and they're ready to go for next Saturday? Oh, well, they will have all been tested. There's no doubt about that. And I think they will be um, within Gatlin's mind's eye, even if he hasn't been able to get them onto the pitch for the various reasons that we know that are, are peculiar to this tour. He will have been working those combinations on the training park. But there's a difference between working on the training park and um, in match and especially in the first test. And I would have liked to have seen, as we have in years gone by, the centre pairing that's Gatlin's going to go out with uh, at the weekend, having played a game together. The front row, having played a game together. The back row, certainly, and even the back three. Those things. And halfbacks, most importantly, you would think they have to develop a um, um, a relationship, or a, a, so they can read each other. They know where they want the ball placed. You know, mm. a, a, a sort of a, a working together uh, throughout the tour, and and that's something that hasn't happened yet. I, no, I think Joe, yeah, go on. just. They're definitely holding some stuff back. We haven't seen the full picture here. In attack, do you mean? Yes, definitely. I think there'll be strike plays that we'll see next week. There'll be, um, you know, we've seen some subtle movements and we've seen uh, some sm strike plays, but I think we'll see a lot more. We'll see more of an intensity out of them. Um, but that is a concern because they haven't played enough together, these guys, as a settled group with those combinations. But... I do believe, even though there's been a lot of concerns we've mentioned in the last couple of weeks, I think we'll see a different side, um, and, and hopefully that will be one that will be a lot more accurate. Joe, I think they are holding a number of set plays back. We've seen the odd one right through this tour, and actually they've been very successful. So whether that be the throw over the top of the line out, um, a couple of st the strike play for the, the Conan uh, try that was a pass back inside, there's been a couple of signals to say that they have been working on stuff in training, but they're not just showing at all. And first phase strike moves will be crucial to breaking down the Springbok defence. When you have that big pack, you've got eight of them tied up in either a scrum or a line out. Mm. That means there's much more space. There's a lot more opportunity to pull the backs out of position uh, and ultimately break them down. So I'm really hopeful um, in that regard, because if they aren't, they are in big trouble. Okay, so we're either in for a pleasant surprise on Saturday, Alan, or things will be fairly grim is what I'm hearing. 